Good morning, everybody. Welcome to day seven of November Vlogs. We are here again. So, I am dressed, I'm up and ready. It's just after half eight in the morning and I'm waiting for the yarn to arrive. This is what I was waiting for yesterday, but then I got a notification to say it was coming today. So that's due between 8.40 and I think it was 11.40. So I'm waiting for that to arrive, hoping that comes nice and early because I need to nip out to Otley at some point. So hopefully that will come nice and early. Stuart is over there being very, very fussy. He's trying to get his belly tickled by Danny and just knocked a picture over. So, yeah, that's the plans for today. I need to do some dyeing this morning and then get on and nip out to Otley. Might have a look in the pet shop. I love looking in the pet shop at Otley. There's this parrot and it talks. It's, it's not a parrot that's for sale. It lives there. It's so cute. It really is. And sometimes you can get it to talk. Sometimes it just ignores you. But sometimes you can get it to talk. So I might have a look in the pet shop while we're there. You're Mind you, I'm not buying a parrot, no. <laughs> can you imagine a parrot with all our cats? <laughs> that would not go well. This is the reason the hamster is upstairs, because of Stuart. Is he thinking you're saying I'm going to buy a parrot? No, I just like to look at it. <laughs> I wouldn't do that to a poor parrot. The hamster, Oreo, used to live downstairs. And she used to live at the side of the TV. And... The older cats have never bothered. We've had hamsters all the time and the older cats have never bothered with them. I didn't expect Stuart to and we'd gone out one day and she's got a new cage now but she used to have a cage with a tube that went around the outside of the cage which is a whole other story. And it was, it was a whole, she used to sleep in the tube and she got stuck one day. It was awful, like to like break the tube apart to get her out it was horrible so we've got her a new cage with no tubes so that can't happen again I don't think hamsters usually sleep in the tube but she used to anyway so she had this tube on the outside of the cage and we'd been out and we came back and Stuart had broke the tube sort of in half so it was like this and the hamster was sort of clinging on inside and Stuart was sat looking it must have only just happened and from that moment on, she's never been downstairs. Our bedroom door is kept closed at all times. So she lives in the bedroom. That's why she lives in the bedroom. I didn't expect it because the other animals have never bothered with the hamster. They've always been fine, even the dog. We used to have a rabbit. Goodness. So I got this rabbit. It was years ago now, probably seven or eight years ago. It was lovely. It was called Angus. And I got him a hutch and everything for outside. And I felt so bad that he was outside that I, I just couldn't do it. So I ended up getting this huge indoor cage for him. I think he lived till about... It must have been longer than that because I think he lived till he was about six. And he lived in the lounge the whole time. Long before we got Stuart and, and Jack. And he used to come out every evening and run around, but he used to chase the cats. And Polly used to not like him at all. Polly hated him. So when Angus came out, Polly sat in his cage <laughs> until he went back and then she'd jump out of his cage. <laughs> Bless. Right, yeah, I'm going to go wait for this yarn to arrive and then hopefully it'll arrive early and I can get on with some yarn dyeing. Still waiting for yarn. Can't do anything. You know when you're waiting for something... There's no point in me starting anything, because if I do, I'm going to have to stop. So I'm kind of just waiting. So I'm going to make myself a slice of toast while I'm waiting. FedEx is usually, uh, you know, quite good with times. If it says between 8.40 and 11.40 or whatever, it'll usually come closer to 8.40. Hang on. Sorry, I didn't realise the washing machine was spinning. I bet that was really loud. Um, so I'm just waiting. So I may as well make myself a slice of toast. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Ooh. I can hear somebody around upstairs. Don't know who that is. It'll be one of the kids. <laughs> I didn't mean there was just somebody random in the house. Oh, right, I'm off to go wait some more. Oh, hang on, the cat wants to come in. Oh, it always has to come in through the window and I can't reach this window. 
I'm bored. I'm waiting and I'm bored. <laughs> I never get bored. But I can't do anything. The second I start something, you know it'll come. So I can't do a thing. So I'm just stuck waiting. And I'm really bored. And I know I can knit. I know I can knit. But because I can knit, I don't want to knit. <laughs> I only want to knit when I don't have time to knit. <sighs> Keep tapping my feet. Looking out the window. It's half past ten. Been waiting over. An hour and a bit. Was a, there's a vehicle. There's a vehicle. There's not a vehicle. Tap, 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 tap. Tap, 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 tap. There's a man sat in a car over there. Looks very suspicious. We don't have people just sat in cars on this street. It's, you know... You know everybody on the street and when somebody random is just sat in a car, he looks like he's on a dictaphone. He's in a suit with a lanyard around his neck and he looks like he's on a dictaphone. That's very suspicious. Maybe it's the FBI. Can you tell I'm bored? I'm making up stories. And he's getting out of his car now. See where he goes. Oh, he's gone down that way. Gosh, I'm nosy. I don't get to be nosy because the kitchen is at the front of the house, which is I think is quite unusual. Your kitchen's usually at the back. Our kitchen's at the front, and the lounge is in the back. I don't know where he's gone. Oh yeah, I can see where he's gone. I don't think it's the FBI. Waiting, waiting, waiting. I'm used to being so busy, this is the thing. During the day, I'm busy with stuff all the time. I, there's not a lot of opportunity just to twiddle my thumbs. And I, ca I can't cope with it. I can't cope with it. I'm going to have to go find something to do. The thing to do is clean the bathroom. I'll go clean the bathroom. I'll do that. Everybody had a hard year Nobody got their pay What a time for the lonely ones Thought every dog had its day What a time for the wicked The hungry and the brave Somebody call the cat in We don't need another stray If everybody had an answer Nobody would have to wait What a time for the wretches The hero never came Ain't nobody out there like us There ain't no two stones the same still not here <laughs> um it's half past one me and danny ended up having to nip out so josh kindly waited in for the parcel and it was supposed to be here over two hours ago it's not here yet so i've tracked it it's definitely getting delivered today but it's still in bradford that's the one, one of the people what they crisps are. danny wants to know what your favorite crisps are while he just cracks into a packet of mccoy's which ones have you got McCoy's. Yeah, which flavour? Flaming steak. Flaming steak. They're his favourite crisps. Have you seen my new top? <laughs> Danny bought me. It came in the post this morning. Bless him and they surprised me with it. Isn't it cool? Big bang. Related. Right, so I need to get on with some other work now. Um, while I wait for this yarn order. So that's going to be getting dyed tomorrow now, so it's going to be delayed slightly. No, I think it should still get out Friday, to be honest. I normally give my myself a few extra days 
just in case anything like this happens. So I'm pretty certain it'll still ship Friday. Right, I'm going to get on with some jobs. I'll be back. Hello, everybody. <clears throat> it's quarter past five. Um, so I thought I'd come on, have a chat now and end the vlog here. Wearing my penguona. I got really cold earlier, so I've popped my penguona one. I really like this. I don't like this, this section, but I like everything else. I do wear it quite a lot. I'm going to have to make another, I think. I want another one with long sleeves. Although, um, I was looking at that MJ, is it MJ off the hook designs? The granny pop pattern designer that I made. She's got a long cardigan, so I think I might make one of those. It's called the granny pop cardigan or something like that. I think I'm going to make one of those. Anyway, the yarn's still not here. Not good. It's the first time, to be honest, that something like this has ever happened. And as it turns out, well, I went on to track it earlier and it's still saying it's in Bradford. So, oh, one second. Um, it's still saying it's in Bradford. I don't think it's actually moved. And underneath that was a load of really, really bad reviews. FedEx had, in the past have always been really good. I've never had an issue, but they've had some shocking reviews during November. People saying they've had the parcel a week. It was supposed to be delivered a week ago and not got it. So I'm not holding out much hope. As it turns out, um, our regular order is coming anyway this week. So it's not so much of a big deal because I can use the yarn from our regular order anyway and then when I get the other yarn through, just replace it with that. But it's a little bit annoying because I waited in all morning. I had loads of stuff to do today and I had to just wait in. So it's kind of set me back on all the other jobs which now have piled up for tomorrow. So never mind, never mind, never mind. I did get a lot, a big chunk of jobs done this afternoon that I needed doing. Um... But yeah, just a little bit annoying, especially when I was so bored as well. I never get bored. This is the thing. I've always got something to do. I've never suffered with boredom at all. But this morning, because I felt stuck, because I couldn't do anything, I got so bored and frustrated, could you tell on the vlog? <laughs> and I know that I could have just sat and knit, but I'm just... When I'm in that work mode, I want to be getting on with work. I have sort of set hours during the day where I work and after sort of four o'clock, unless we're really busy and we're on a bit of a time crunch, after four o'clock, I just say, no, that's it, no more. So because I was in that, you know, work hours, I didn't want just to sit and knit and the bathroom's clean though, so that's a good thing. Anyway, I'm sitting and knitting tonight. I've picked up my socks. This is how far I've got. I've only got a few more rounds than I'm doing the toes. So I'm hoping I can finish these tonight. Fingers crossed. That'll be good. And then I'm entering these into the um, Karen Knits Make Along. Um, on the Karen, Karen Knits podcast, she's holding a make along for November. Scrappy, shorty, sock mal. Obviously, these are not shorties. It doesn't matter. She said the rules are really loosey-goosey. That's Karen's word, and I really love that, loosey-goosey. Um, so you don't have to make scrappy socks, and you don't have to make short socks. You can make what you want. So I'm hoping to finish these tonight, and then tomorrow I want to pick up the, Doug the Douglas Cardi again because I've not picked it up all week, and I really would like to get on with that. By finishing these, it's just going to reduce it by another whip. So, yeah, that's the plan. That's the plan. Um, Jobs for tomorrow. Too many to count. <laughs> I'm doing some jobs that I can't share on the vlog. Um, That's my major job tomorrow. And then the dyeing if my other yarn arrives. I think the yarn of the month may be delayed until Saturday at this rate. But it's fine. It'll still get shipped out. Um, and yeah, I think that's everything. So tonight I am sitting, relaxing. Danny's coughing. <laughs> Danny's just playing online with his friend. 
while I sit and do some knitting. I'm going to sit and watch Big Bang Theory. I know I watch it all the time. Does anybody else just have programmes that you just watch over and over? Big Bang Theory and The Good Witch are like, they're like my comfort programmes. If I've nothing to watch on YouTube, I'm usually found watching one of those two things. I don't watch um, normal TV. I don't watch the news. I don't watch anything like that. I just think it's all full of doom and gloom and I choose to stay away from doom and gloom. <laughs> so I don't watch anything like that. I just like happy, you know, relaxing sort of things. Even if I'm in the car and the radio comes on, I turn it over, I switch the, cha not the radio, the news comes on the radio. I switch the um, channel over because it's just all such doom and gloom. And if you sit and you think about it, you can really worry yourself silly. I try not to worry myself. I really do because um, I actually have, I am diagnosed with acute panic disorder. I used to suffer really, really badly with anxiety. And I still have some whopping panic attacks now. But uh, when it was really bad, which was the year, remember when all my hair fell out? Um, the few months leading up to that, my anxiety had been so bad, which is why I think my hair ended up falling out. And I could barely function. I was just having panic attacks constantly, just constantly. And... Um, I sort of learnt to manage it and one thing and another, you know. I used to watch a lot of Eckhart Tolle. I love him, absolutely love him. I've got one of his books, but I can't read the books so much. I do watch a lot of his YouTube tutorials, not tutorials, his YouTube videos. And he used to really calm me down. And since I've gone through all that, I just... I try not to dwell on things because I'm a real worrier. I can worry about anything at all, absolutely anything. And if something gets in my head for me to worry about, it'll stay there. Um, sorry, Daddy's just chatting if you can hear it. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I can worry about anything at all and I can really make a mountain out of a molehill with worry. And I know we're all... I think us knitters have all got that kind of, I don't want to put any, everybody in the same camp, but I think most knitters use knitting as a way to relax. I certainly do. If I have a day where I don't knit, then my stress levels and anxiety levels are a lot higher. Because when I'm knitting, I can sort of try and be more in the present moment, do you know what I mean? Because when you've got, when I worry, my mind just runs away with me and I think of all these things that, you know, could happen and one thing and another. And then if I start knitting, I can just concentrate on what I'm doing and bring myself back to the present moment and I don't worry so much. That was my point. I don't know how I even got on to talking about that. I was on about the radio, not listening to the news. Yeah, so that's why I don't listen to the news and things like that, because it just worries me. I don't like it. It makes me feel all insecure and not very nice, so I don't listen to it. That was a bit of a tangent, wasn't it? <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> I think the dog wants to go out now. Yeah, I think she wants to go out. She'll have to wait a minute. She can go out in a minute. Josh has just been, just come in. She could have asked Josh when Josh came in. <laughs> but no, she waits for me, bless her. Um, yeah, so I'm going to get on with this tonight. Try and finish these. I'm hoping I can finish these tonight. That would be really nice. And I'm going to wear them tomorrow if I have. I'm not saving them till the podcast. I'll take a picture. But... If I finish them tonight, I'm going to wear them tomorrow. That's going to be something to look forward to. I've got a candle lit on here. My big candle ran out. I got this candle from B&M's and it was one of those crackle candles. It was really cheap. It was a really big one with a really thick wick in it and it was only 4 99 
and it was honestly the best candle I've ever bought. You know, usually if you get a big candle and it gets near the bottom and there's so much candle wasted because the candle won't stay lit because the wax is all up the sides. Um, this one, it used the entire wax. It was brilliant. I need to go back to B&M's and buy another one. I never get to go to B&M's very often. If I'm in Skipton, I'll go because there's a B&M's at Skipton. Um, and there is one about a 10 minute drive away. But it's the one that's closer to us. It's such a pain to get out of. It's on such a busy road and it's just a pain to get out of. Mind you, there's a new sewing uh, fabric shop opened up near it, actually. We used to have this really cool fabric shop near the B&M's that I'm talking about. And it was brilliant. And then the staff announced it was closing down. Stop licking because the owners were selling it, selling the building. Um, I think that's what it was. Anyway, they were closing down and it's the only really, really good fabric shop around. You can get fabric in boys and whatnot, but this was, um, it used to have a lot of designer fabric coming, you know, like um, roll ends and things like that. Anyway, they announced they were closing down and everybody on Facebook was so gutted and said to the staff, can't you just take over anyway they did they ended up doing it it was amazing so the staff actually secured a new building not very far away from the original one and it opened i think it was last week and it's a sewing shop and f no a fabric shop and sewing school so they've got a few little classes going on at the moment, but I'm going to keep an eye out on the classes because I'd love to be able to sew my own clothes. I really, really would. I hate clothes shopping. You've probably noticed with what I wear. I don't follow fashion, anything like that. I just wear what's comfortable. I don't like being uncomfortable. And if I could sew my own clothes, how amazing would that be? And I made some dungarees and I never wear them because they're a bit big and I've lost more weight since I made them. So they're even more big now. That's Danny sighing because he's losing his game. <laughs> um, so how amazing would it be to make my own clothes? So I'm going to keep an eye out on this fabric shop and see what other classes the to bring up they have brought up one for there was sewing a tote bag class that was a really reasonable pr class if you've not done any sewing at all it was really reasonable um and then there was another one i can't remember what the other one was but it was like another another small item they provide everything that you need you just need to turn up mm -hmm. and then there was one for making some dungarees but i didn't want to make dungarees so I'm just keeping an eye on the classes. How exciting would that be? I've watched these podcasters that make their own clothes. Ellie. Ellie's just amazing. Ellie at Craft House Magic. And I just think how amazing. You know, she makes all these things for Jensen and oh, she's just fabulous. I'd love to be able to do that. I really would. Right. What have I done here? There we go. Oh, goodness, have I been talking for 13 minutes? Right, okay, I'm going to get off. I'm going to edit this blog. I'll just finish this row, then I'll go. I don't like leaving it halfway through a row. So I'll just do this bit, and then I'll go. Yeah, so I'm going to keep an eye out on that fabric school and see what comes up. No, fabric shop. Why do I keep saying the wrong thing? I don't know. <laughs> I think the first thing I'd like to make is just some t-shirts. I've said before, I have a really long torso. So finding t-shirts that I'm actually comfortable in is really hard. This one Danny's bought me today is perfect. Absolutely perfect. But like just going into Asda or somewhere and looking for a t-shirt they're always short on me and then you wash them and they shrink and it really frustrates me and if I made my own I'd have washed the fabric anyway first before I used it so I would have if it would have shrunk it wouldn't have mattered because I'd be making it into the garment after it but anyway don't think I'm going to do any of this now I'm not <laughs> this is just like pipe dream talking <laughs> 
I won't get around to that for ages. <laughs> it would be really nice, but it is just a pipe dream. <laughs> Right, I'm going to go now. I'm waffling. I will see you tomorrow for day eight, everybody. Bye-bye.